Welcome back. I'm in Izzy's new room. All of my kids now have their own bedroom and I'm pretty ecstatic about it. I cannot wait to share this reveal with you and I wanted to walk you through the process and show you how we decorated this room on a shoestring budget. So here we go. So this was the girls' room before they shared this room. It was gorgeous. I love this room so much, but they fought like cats and dogs. So we decided to install a wall right down the middle and move Abby upstairs and make this half Izzy's room and the back half the office. So we put up the wall and she had her heart set on a cupcake room. She wanted it to be white. So she chose this gorgeous color. It's called Snowy Owl. It's Canadian Tires Premier Paint. I'm so in love with this paint because it's one coat, you guys. It's so thick, it's like pudding. And it went on beautifully. So um, she loves the color, I love the color. And now she went ahead and installed these decals. I let her do this all by herself. She chose the colors, these are from Etsy and they're like sprinkle decals. It's $30, you get a ton of them. We didn't even use a quarter of them. And it looks like wallpaper. It's so, so beautiful, easy, a fast way to really, you know, decorate the room. I sent Izzy to grandma's house so the final reveal could be a surprise. I added these curtains from Ikea. I recycled the rod, which I wasn't in love with, but these curtains were only $10. I mean, how could I argue with that? So I covered up the ugly rod and the black little grommets with some tissue paper flowers, just using tissue paper that I already had. They turned out really great. We sold her bunk bed and opted to get this gorgeous canopy bed. I found it online at like an online yard sale for $100 and it is in such great shape. For a nightlight, I decided to make some more tissue paper flowers and string some lights in them and they're so pretty at night and that was a free project. We bought four cans of spray paint and did a ton of projects in her room, including this gallery wall, which she designed herself. I took a picture and I hung it up for her. I like symmetry, she does not. So it's a little bit of a hodgepodge, but that's what she wanted. And I used 3M strips to hang these picture frames that we already had. We just gave a quick coat of spray paint. Now let's see Izzy's reaction to her new room. That's Izzy's bed. Don't cry. Don't cry. Do you like it? Yeah. I'm so glad. There's a mirror on the back of the door. The end result of her room is so cute and yet so small. It's only nine feet by 11 feet, but we made the most of every square inch with lots of fun, inexpensive pillows from Ikea. The fabric that's draping the bed is from Ikea as well, but I think the best part are these decals, these like, sprinkle decals from Etsy. I'm gonna put the link below. I'm so in love with those. And of course she designed this cute like cupcake sprinkle wall. Some of the things she drew herself, some she found online. She completely designed this and spray painted the frames all by herself and I love the way it turned out. Even though it's not the way mommy would have put it out, I like the way it turned out. And we can fit her desk in here which we use the same can of spray paint to spray the top and we also use that um, the pink to spray spray paint this chandelier which we hung in her bed. I mean, who doesn't want a chandelier in their bed? So even though this room is really small, it has everything she needs going right up into her teenage years. She has a desk and a bed, a great bookshelf, and because we're not putting the dresser in here, she has these two closets. She's so lucky with double closets. We were able to put um, this Ikea shelving in the bottom here and this acts as her dresser. So this keeps a lot of clothes on this side and the other closet is where she hangs all the clothes. So this is such a space saver. And overall, I'm in love with her sweet little room. I thought I'd give you a breakdown of Izzy's decorating budget for her room. We did actually sell over $400 worth of things from her old bedroom. So we ended up with lots of money left over to spare.
So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are doing more reveals this week, and I don't want you to miss them. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, so thanks so much for staying to the end. I am impulsive. I'm... <laughs> I'm so impulsive. I don't ever really think about the consequences of my actions and sometimes it's great because you jump into things without like hesitation and they turn out fantastic and sometimes you jump in and you're like, man, if I would have given this like five seconds of thought, it would have turned out better. I'm loving this Renault's. I think that this was a great idea to give the girls their own room. This is not the time of the year to do renovations though, because it's summer. We, we should be enjoying the outside. I mean, we haven't even dealt with the pool or we have a new gazebo we have to put up. We haven't put out patio furniture. I haven't done any flowers and there's no future of that happening anytime soon. We have weeks, if not at least a solid month of just work left to do. So don't do renovations in the summer. Why did I wait till like October or something? <laughs> like, I'm not the brightest light bulb in the socket. But anyways, um, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be awesome, but it is definitely taking away from our summertime. I mean, it was gorgeous this weekend. And instead of enjoying the pool and, you know, sitting out on our deck, our deck is empty. <laughs> we have no patio furniture. We have nothing. And we can't really start that project until we finished the disaster that is my home right now. So I'm having reno regret. I think that's probably a normal feeling, but I'm definitely having, I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm just like, what was I thinking? Hopefully it's over soon. So um, I might just not even do the craft room, you guys, because we will box that up and just kick that can down the road and deal with it later so we can just have some tiny bit of a summer. <sighs> I'm excited to show you the office, though. It's really adorable, and it's super small, but it worked out so great. So stay tuned for that video next. We'll see you next time.